Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to thank everybody who has tuned in to watch it, and thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Now, we know, for a recap, we've been making A6 size inserts, and our first creation was letter box. Then I started showing printing cuts on different ones. Yes, I was playing in there again, so I got some poo ones. And in both directions, horizontally and vertically ones, we've been showing. So today, I decided that to make him with Cricut pens. Because what if you don't have a printer? You wouldn't be able to do printing cuts. I have a whole bunch that I've been creating. So I'll be able to save for a long time. Well, if you watched Monday's video, this is the one I created. And this is all using Cricut pens. And there's four different colors on here. A black. I think this is like a raspberry, a pink, and then a navy in the center. Well, today, I probably use these three plus a different one. Not sure yet. But let's get started. Now, I have my Cricut maker off to the left here. Plugged in, turned on, hooked up to the computer. I have my mat with my paper already on it. So I'm going to create one that goes this way today. So when all the first thing that I always do is I come over to the left, I grab my shape, a little triangle with a circle, the word shapes below it, click on it. Our shapes panel shows up and I always grab the rounded rectangle. Bring that over to the, here. Oh, across the top says operations, the solid square. I'm going to come down and click on it for white. Now you can use different colors of cardstock. Just got to make sure your pen, the color of pen that you're using, will show up on it. That's just a matter of writing in the corner where you can't see. I'm going to do mine in white. Okay, then it's still across the top. I'm going to unlock the little lock in the size box. There's the word size. I'm going to unlock the lock. Now for this one, for width, for the little W, type in three, hit enter. And the next box with the little H for height, six, hit enter. And then lock our little box lock back up. Now, if you don't want it this way, you would type six, then three, but we're doing the three, then the six. Then back over to the left, scroll down to the hot air balloon with the word images underneath. We are going to click on that and it's going to bring up every image. Well, we're going to narrow this down. I'm going to type in the word bunny and then click the magnifying glass. And we still have over 5,000 results, but we're gonna narrow that more. On the left, it says category, all images, then filters, free, editable text. I always wanna say eatable. My stuff, bookmark, upload, purchase, then the next operation type, it's got a plus sign. We are going to click on that plus, and it's going to drop down. Got cut only, draw only, print and cut, and cut and draw. We are going to go to draw only and click on that box. Now it narrows it down to 63 results. And these are bunnies that our machine will draw out. Cute little bunnies. 
and the one I am looking for is right here. So we are click on it, brings it gray. Now, if you want to know the number, these three little round dots, pound M1479165 and I'll put that in the the description below in case you want to reuse him or her and then to go along with that we're going to come back up now we're going to leave this over here on the left our little green box with that check mark in it says draw only we're going to leave that just like that then we're going to come up we're going to backspace the word bunny out and bunnies like to eat carrots so we are going to grab a carrot just type the word carrot in there click the magnifying glass you only got seven results to choose from i'm going to grab this first one that number is pound m one one four e two f zero one all right click on it bring the green square around it then on and that number also will be in the description these are the two images we chose skip cancel the bottom right click add to canvas and that'll bring both of our images up into our canvas now we always want to click off first and then grab one of the images because if we started to do something it would bring both images this one i'm going to go back up to size i'm going to leave the first one alone for width and i'm going to come over to height and i'm just going to put in two and enter now you can choose any size you want i'm just going to do choose the two for right now and we're going to bring him down here to the bottom left of our insert then back up underneath operations because it says pen because it's going to tell us it's going to draw it now it's not a solid black it's just an outline square we're going to click on that and it's automatically going to draw it in black i don't want to draw it in black i'm going to come down to armadillo and click on that so my bunny turned gray i'm going to have a gray bunny now let's highlight or click on our carrot same thing underneath operations says it's going to draw the pen to the outline square i'm going to scroll through these colors here to orange now the whole thing is going to be orange now if you continue to scroll down here there's lots of colors of pans but once you see where it starts saying infusible ink you've gone too far infusible ink is something totally different we won't even get into it right now mm -hmm. but you can just scroll through your colors but i'm choosing orange there's my carrot now we can't get it to do orange and green but we can do it to orange let's see we're going to back up the size and i think for height let's do one we'll try that and hit enter hmm how about 1.25 ah that looks a little better we're going to use 1.25 now as it's still in the gray box I'm going to come over to our layers panel the double square with the plus yep going to click on that let's see let's go two times nope let's do three and we got so this so if we do it three times that'll give us a total of four carrots i'm just clicking on them kind of getting them up close because our next step is to highlight them all come up to a line click on the little black arrow and then we're going to come down to a line top and that brings them all up to the top click on a line again we're going to click on distribute horizontally and that's going to get them evenly spaced. 
Then come over to the layers on the right, click on the first double squares. That's gonna group them so you can move them wherever you want. We could almost do a fifth one across there. You know, I think we will. Oh, and for figuring that out, all you have to do is go back over to layers, our first double squares, click on it. Now that ungroups our carrots, click off of it, click on one carrot, Click on the double squares with the plus sign in it. Now well, that brings up another carrot for us. Now we have five carrots. And again, I'm just kind of putting them together. We're going to highlight them all. Come back up to line. Come down to a line atop. Now they're all lined across the top. Align, distribute horizontally, because that will evenly space them. Now we can go back to our layers panels and the first double squares, click on group. Yep, that looks better. Well, how many carrots do we want on here? Well, that depends. How much do you want to save? Let's see. If we go four times five, that's 20 carrots. And if you did a dollar a carrot, that would be $20. If you did $5 a carrot, that'll be 100 That seems like a good, good one to use. So we know we have five carrots here. Back to the layers panel. The second set of squares with the plus sign, click on it three more times. One, two, three. Then we'll just take and line these all up. And highlight them all, come back up to a line, click on the little black arrow. This time we're gonna line them to the left. That brings them all even to this side. And then we're going to come down to distribute vertically. And that's gonna space them all evenly this way. Back over to the right for layers, the first double squares, click. That groups them so we can move them everywhere we want. Now we know that this is too big because it covers up our little bunny. Well, we just take and shrink it down. But now we have all this space here. Well, up to size. I think I'm going to put the first one for height. We're going to do 3.5 and hit enter. Now we're going to unlock it. And then just click on the top black arrow. Or you can just click 2.8 and hit enter. Because we know this is 3 inches across. Lock our little lock again. And just move them over. Let's see, we're going to bring this down to just above his little ears. There. Now, what do we, what if we want to know how much we're saving and what each carrot is worth? Well, we just come over here, just click on a carrot and hit duplicate, that brings out another carrot. And we'll put it down here for right now. 
then back over to the left, we want a text box. Of course, then it brings it down below our, where we're working. And double click in it, backspace. First, we want to know how much are we saving. We are going to save $100 with this in mini savings challenge. We're going to bring it up so we can come back up here. And then it's going to have your font going to have style which says regular <clears throat> regular excuse me we're going to click on regular and we're going to click on the bottom here it says writing because we want it to write and there we go then we're just going to take and shrink it and what color do we want it well i'm not going to leave this back up on operations where it says pen and the outline automatically defaults to black well, I'm going to use a green, being the carrot tops should be green. And while it's highlighted, I'm going to come over to the layers panel. The second one, we're going to duplicate it. There's a reason why we are duplicating it. So come back to our first one. How do we want it up here? we want it down here we already know it's too big so we just grab our square down here and bring it in till it's the size that we would like it now you don't want to move it while it's got that black up and down arrow needs to be that yep, needs to be like this here for it to move for some reason there we go I think we're going to have it down here. We're just going to keep sizing it down till it looks good. No, we could probably put it up here. It looks kind of small up there. We'll put it right below our carrots. You can put it wherever you want. There. That looks good to me. Then, but let's go back over to our other save 100. We're going to double click on that. We're going to backspace out that save 100. And we're going to take and put in equal marks. And we're going to leave it green. And we're going to bring that equal mark right down here next to our carrot. Because then you can write in the dollar amount here that each carrot will equal. And then you write your dollar amount. Looks good. Then we take and highlight this whole thing. Come down to operations. You got attach and flatten. Well, usually we flatten everything. We don't want to do that today. We want attach. Because now that is telling our Cricut Design Space that we want these images all to be drawn on this white piece of paper. Now you got to remember what colors each image is so when it will walk through the steps. So we know that our carrots are going to be orange, our bunny is going to be gray, and the amount we're saving in each, and each carrot is worth is going to be in green. We come back up here, click on the machine you're using, and we're using the Cricut Maker. Well, let's click on Cricut Joy. Now see, Cricut Joy, it has these little exclamations with a circle coming around. You click on that little circle, it'll tell you not supported by Joy. So you cannot do this on your Cricut Joy. Come back up, click on the maker. And then them little circles disappear. So we'll come back over across the top next to the machine we chose and click make it. And then the first screen, are we doing this on a mat, on a card mat? 
Now, we're just doing this completely on a mat. Click on on a mat. Hit confirm. And there's our image. Now, over here, it has material type loaded is on a mat. Material size, 12 by 12. That's kind of default. What? I just have a piece. My piece of paper is at least four inches, and it's very longer than here. Because you can just put like a four by seven piece of paper on there, and it'll work. So come back down to the bottom right. Hit continue. It's going to connect to our machine. Put those pens down. You buy my USB cord, because that's what I have it hooked by. And it's going to ask you what paper are you putting it on. Mine is heavy cardstock, because that's what I'm using. Default pressure. I put mine on more. Now down here, for load tools and material, it's going to tell you what color to put in clamp A first. Clamp B is our cutting. And after you load the mat, you press the, for loading the mat, you press your things. I'm going to leave the, um, this up so you can see and, and record. So each time it'll tell you what to do next. But right now they want us to put in the armadillo. That means it's going to draw the bunny out first. So I want this pen into clamp A first. And then down here it says coming up orange dark green. I always check my pen to make sure it's writing. Then we're going to go put it in clamp A. We're going to load our mat with our paper on it. That shows the little black arrow. Now it's going to tell us to press go and this is the button that's blinking right now on my machine. We're going to press. And it's preparing. And then it's going to go down. Make sure my paper is big enough. Then it's going to go draw out this cute little bunny. And while it's doing that, I can show you a bunch more of these that I have created. Now this one, I chose a frog image and then little flies, and then I have the knob 15 on each fly, so that would save $180. Oh, you've seen some of these already. Kind of keep them all over here though. So like I say, I'm gonna have a lot of savings today. And it's at 17%, which means, I'll see, this pops up wants us to set up for the next step. They want us to load the dark green in clamp A. And the dark green we know is gonna write out save and the little equal mark. So we take the first pen out, put the second pen in, clamp it shut, and then press the C button again. And while that's drawing, I think we've seen this one before. Oops, that one's upside down. Yeah, when I get bored, I kind of go into Cricut Design Space and I just start creating little things. Oh, see, next setup, load the orange. It's gonna start drawing all those little carrots. We take out the pen and that clamp, put the new pen in, clamp it shut, and push the blinking C. Now it's going to start drawing out all these carrots for us. Yep, this one I just brought some images in and was playing around. Same with that one. 
and my stockings. I gotta start using these. Oops, the turtle. And this one. Now I brought in a oval, scalloped oval and then I put a white oval over it. Then I stuck the numbers in so you kind of get more color into it. And I brought the butterfly in. There's a bunny. Just hop into savings. Like I say, I have quite a few here so I will be able to save for a while. I got two here because I was playing and having some issues in Cricut Design Space, but I got it figured out, so I have doubles of some, which is fine. And there's the squirrel that I showed before, and the penguin before, our little peacock, and then the baby turkeys. And then this one I chose, I went in and I put my name on there. There's a little kitty cat. <laughs> well, and after it gets done drying out all them little carrots, well, plus this one. So if you wanted to save an extra five dollars, so that, you know, you color in all these to save a hundred, you could always color this one in, be a hundred and five dollars. And in your little bunny rabbit, you could even color the bunny in and save even more money. That's your savings insert, so you can choose however you wish to do this. It's going to take these carrots a little while to cut. Now, the numbers for both of those, both the images of the carrots, whoops, carrots are up here, and this bunny rabbit, I'll put in the description in case you would like to use those. And how close is it coming to getting done with our carrots? One, two, three, four. I think it's just about done with doing our carrots. The waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> Let's see. What else would you guys like to see in Cricut Design Space? Because now this, you know, like this here, when I showed you the other one, I got the color around there. I can show how to do that. I can even show how to use Cricut Design Space. You don't even need a machine. Because Cricut Design Space is free. All you have to do is download it to your computer and you can play around in there. You just won't be able to print. You won't be able to cut. Unless, obviously, you have the machine. I think that'll be next week's video. We'll go kind of like back to the basics. And you'll understand more next week. Oh, drawing 100%. So it should be stopping. Pretty soon. And then it'll go to cutting. And then it'll cut this... Well, this is the outline, but that's their cut line. Nope, now it's going to detect that the machine is in there first. Not the machine, it's going to detect that the blade is in. And then it's going to cut it out for us. And that's going to go really fast. I think my machine is a little ahead of my cutting. And then it's going to come up and tell us to unload the mat, which we know is the blinking black arrow. Flip it over. Peel it off. And there is our little A cert. 
a six insert where we can save $100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105 if we color this in, or if we want to color the bunny in. Now to get back to our canvas, down on the bottom here it says done. Just click done. And it'll bring right back to our canvas. There. Now we have both ways of savings. I better start earning a lot of money so I can start saving. Well, I will see you guys all on Friday. And then next week, Wednesday, will be another Cricut and Budgeting. Bye, everybody. Have a nice Wednesday.